morning guys welcome to today's video it is another bad day <laughs> welcome to ontario and another bad weather day i've been talking to my friend in the states and she tells me it's beautiful here it has been raining this whole day whole day and we've been inside this whole day well not the whole day we've all had chores today is the day that little mr winston gets switched to a new stall get in here get this way come on you're coming in stay safe so things are so mixed up you guys there's a weather alert today that said for the next few days we're gonna have such high winds that it is most likely that power lines in some areas are gonna go out so be prepared for that if one of our bugs doesn't go up that would be why power outages we left everybody in today we came down and we cleaned stalls, fed everybody. The pigs in the bucket. The pigs in the bucket. Oh man. Where's your one? That pig can find any food. Do you guys want to see what happened out here? There's a lake in the pig in the goat area. In fact, we couldn't let them out. It's actually nice in here. It was raining bad. It was raining so bad though. I thought for sure that the water was gonna come in here. So today is the day that Winston gets separated and how that's gonna look is that he's gonna go with rocky rocky keeps standing on that thing no i think it was her Just no i think it's rocky no she he had... jumped out two times because it was close to the Just she's look... hair's all messed up he doesn't look like he did it trust me it was him Heavy. Oh. I'm a little worried that they're gonna knock that off. with the weather is that we have our trailer full of junk down here we can't take it out because the ground is too wet and it's just gonna wreck the grass so we have to wait to do that I don't want to put a lot of shavings in here because it can be really difficult to pick up goat poop the farm that I bought cricket at they do something totally different they don't put any shavings down in the ground isn't that crazy they just have mats and they have a little like they build a pan it's it's just like a big pan, like a kitty litter, and they put shavings in it, and the goats are trained to pee in the kitty litter pan. So they poop everywhere, but then it's just easy to go in and sweep it when it's just mats, and then they scoop out the shavings in the kitty litter box. And so that's my plan for this summer. I plan to just, I plan to try that method out. I'm all for the easy method. The deep litter method is not the easy method. I don't want to get into any kind of mess like that again. This is where they're going to go. They're not going to go in here yet. I'm going to wait until night time. <laughs> this little pig. <laughs> it's so cute. She's like, oh, this is what a barn is like. So uh, over the next couple of weeks, we'll be taking all the straw and hay out of this barn. It's going to kill us. And we're going back to shavings. I'm excited. It looks so much prettier. It's so much better. I need to still take all the shavings and deep litter out of my uh, out of my chicken coop as well. We have like a lot like the next two weeks probably is just going to be all cleaning. So thing. Sam hooked this thing up. Was it Sam that did this? Obviously. And so we can't close this door with a latch because that thing the hook just keeps getting stuck in there. Every place you live has different kind of karma. Like we, our last place, the water had so much iron in it that we never would have been able to have goats there. She was laying down like at the door and Rocky was like massaging her belly with her nose. Really? Drain there? No. 
I'll go get green. It's big. I don't know, man. So what can happen is that if you give them too much of one mineral, like something like um, iron, it can make other it make their body unable to use other minerals. So, and like and like I've said before, goats need a lot of extra minerals that don't just come in their food. Like they need a lot of extra stuff. So sometimes if you if your conditions are bad, like if you have too much iron in your water, it can make other it can make them deficient in minerals that they are getting enough of, but it just makes their body unable to use it properly. So every farm has some kind of karma. This farm has been such a blessing to us. I swear to God, there's hardly any karma here. The karma here are bad locks on the doors. I can't do this. The water is nice. Why do you need me to hold her? You want me to hold her? No, don't chop her tail. You chopped my goat's tail, so I get to chop your goat's tail. <laughs> I know, and then I found out we didn't need to chop the tail. Leave the tail. Leave the tail. Do you want me to help you? Here, let me do it. <laughs> anyway. In this barn, I've showed you guys before, every latch doesn't work. Like, look at this latch. You see what I mean? You have to open it and put it on an angle and pray and work at it for five minutes before you can get it to latch. I need Sam to fix it. But And then this thing, the latches don't work on this either. Sam already tried to fix it, so it's a little bit better. But the gate isn't aligned. It just... This is the barn of bad latches. And our old barn was the barn of too much minerals in the water. And I definitely would prefer latches being bad than having too much minerals because we never could have had our goats at the old barn. We uh, did Rosie's feet and we did her udder. We cleaned it up. She's doing like, it's not bleeding right now. It hurts so bad though. Well, a band-aid's not gonna stop it from hurting. <laughs> Yes, it does. No, it just hurts it more because it <laughs> Anyway, whoa. Anyways, we did her udder and... Don't mind the jealous box She the looks like a single baby in there, but her udder almost looks like, because she still has like, I don't know, it could be a double. She's going to be a mystery. Look at her little what? face. I'm so jealous. It could, be a, it could be a mystery. She could have a double in there. Look at how jealous she is. And still to this day, I have never seen her babies. I've never dreamed them and I dream everything. So, yep, Sophie has dreamed of Lola's baby when Lola one day has a baby. Yeah, that's looking like a twin. No, you're Sophie's jealous. <laughs> she wants me to have a single. But look, she's shedding out so She good. is shedding out. So this is Blossom. Yeah, and we're gonna start milking her tomorrow. Look at the damage to her udder from See, having a buckling. Like no hair on there, bro? But look at her. Look at her udder. It's totally lopsided. This is the side he drinks on. It makes milk. This side is completely dried up because he nurses off that side. Don't don't do that because you have to fill it with stuff. So he nurses on this side. This side has dried up and is not making milk because he doesn't drink from this side. And that's gonna affect her her whole entire life. I still drink on the side too. Did you? Yeah. Well, maybe with any luck, this side's just empty because he drank from it, but I don't think so because, anyway, uh, tomorrow I screwed up with this. There was so much conflicting information out there. The truth is I should have been pumping on this side, the side he hasn't been drinking on, right from the start. And I did for a little while, but then I left it because I didn't want to create an issue, but it was the wrong thing to do. You're meant to... If you have a single, especially a single buckling, you're meant, and especially if they drink only on one side, you're meant to pump the other side a few times a day, two times a day, to keep it producing milk. So that's a mistake I made in the whole goat situation. There's so many old wives tales that are actually based on some kind of truth. Some of them are more truthful than others. One old wives tale says that you can tell if a doe is going to have more than one baby by her udder. One, more than one baby or bucklings because typically they have more milk. They make more milk for bucklings. But that one I don't find is true. 
Um, but I do find that we well, don't know yet because we only we only had bucklings. Yeah, we don't know yet about that one. But I do find that that goats will grow a bigger udder if they're expecting multiples and. Rosie's kind of in the middle like you could tell the whole time with Blossom that she's just gonna have one baby and Rosie's always been kind of just in the middle like she could go either way so it'll be exciting to see anyway we're done down here for now we got a stall ready we did some shaving we did some feet it's time to go up have dinner and then come back down and make the changes you guys tomorrow we start milking poor Winston it's gonna be rough for him Posey is so bored in the house, like so bored, but she doesn't want to go out in the rain either. <laughs> she and Ellie are becoming very good friends. Come on, Posey, we're going up to the house. Come on. Come on. She's like, I want to go. <laughs> she doesn't know where she wants to go. Come on. Get up there. It was college day at Gabby's school today. She's probably gonna go to university. But she went to look and see if there's any kind of courses that she might want to take. She's not really interested in anything from there, but you never know. You have to be prepared. You have to look at all your options. I've been reading this book. I don't think you guys can see it. It's called One for the Blackbird and One for the Crow by Olivia Hawker. This is it right here. And I have been loving it like crazy. Like. It's about the, these two families that um, do homesteading on the plains in America. And it's like during the harsh, harsh winter and something happens and one man dies, one of the deaths. So it's these two families that live across from each other, across the pasture from each other. Uh, one man dies and the other one goes to jail. And so both families are facing uh, winter on their farm, on their homestead with no men. One mom has three little kids and then like a 13 year old girl and the other mom has just one 16 year old boy. And I do not know what it is about the book. It's just like, I feel the book. Like it is so, so good. I am loving it. If you guys are interested in homesteading stuff, like I think it's the homesteading. It's, it's, the hardship it's the coming together to support one another through adversity it's just i don't know this book is speaking to me it has been amazing i'm probably gonna finish it today i just started it last night so like the 16 year old boy is struggling to become a man without his dad and he remembers back to the things that his dad would say and the things that his dad would say to him are things that people have said to us like um when you are in front of the animals you have to walk with purpose and be a man and let them know that you're their boss and if an animal comes up to you like an animal should never just walk up to you or go in your space or like ruby here <laughs> um you have to be the boss of them and it's like um and he struggles to find his place he has a much more sensitive soul a kindness to him that his dad didn't have his dad was actually kind of abusive and he hated the way the animals feared his dad and the way that um there there was no connection and he through the through the whole course of the book he's struggling to find to find who he is and that's a big part of it learning to be learning to feel comfortable in his own gentleness like it's just so good and that there's so many it's a multifaceted storyline that's for sure and i am loving it one for the blackbird and one for the crow that's the name of it if you guys are looking for it, it is so good we are headed oh we are headed back down to the goat barn and that, part, that i love how the pig just follows us right down she's like i'm coming you guys look at the grass it is finally getting green all right this is gross but my pig is actually pooping in the poop pile you can't get better than that she knows all the spots in the whole property where she can get food and she wants to go get the horse food come on come on get going we're going down to the to the in the fence oh my gosh <laughs> the crazy thing about pigs is that they swerve they are going the way you want them to go and then poof they're swerving all this rain has taught sophie and i one thing it's how earthworms mate i didn't even know they made it but they do and how it happens is that it happens during rain they each come out of one hole so they're like opposite each other in a hole and then they stretch across and they roll their tails together and then they breed one deposits something 
onto another one. And that's how they breed. Look at how cute these triplets look. Black and white and gold. Like I am upset. These are my, like they're not my favorite goats in terms of like goats, I guess, but I love the colors of them all together. They're just so, so cute. And with the blue eyes, they're so cute. You made the best babies, mama. Yes, you're the cutest. Awesome. We need to like, work on this door. I'm gonna have to take this one off, put it here, and then. He's gotten heavier. Say goodbye to your mama. Say goodbye, Winston. She's gonna go be with Rosie. Hey, open the door. Say goodbye to your mama. She is not happy. She's like, what have you done with my baby? I'm not hiding anything. This is a hard thing for me. Like, I literally can't do this. This is the hardest thing. I believe in mental health. Even for my animals. This way. I believe in happiness. <laughs> look out, look out. This is why we have a boy. Yeah, this is why we have a boy. They look like the same color. Look, get your food. It's over there. So just give me a chance. Look into my eyes. I can show you what I have to say. If you still can't decide If you still think I'm lying So the reason that we have a weather to begin with is to babysit all the babies when they're ready to be weaned and little Winston is eight weeks old exactly today and it's unfortunate but this is his fate now if my eyes can't convince you that I'm Come on, Rosie. Get in there. This is your new house. You don't have to eat in the hallway anymore. Well, she probably still will. This is your new house. Uh-oh. She's like, I want my baby. She's always that pushy. <laughs> Look at her little lips. Look at your little lips. Look at her little beard. Look at her little beard. She's like, I want my baby right now. I think Rosie will be okay because Blossom is not aggressive. Rosie's more and Rosie needs to learn to be more aggressive. She's so so passive. I think that this will help and she can see her mom through the bars Even though her mom is really mean to her now, but look her hackles are up. Everybody's got their hackles up. What? <laughs> She's such a funny goat She's such a funny goat This is Sophie's first baby Uh Oh She's already, uh-oh. And so it starts. I told you She's that. the queen of the castle. See, look at all the expressions that start with goats. There, Sophie said one today, too. But she's the queen of the castle. It's okay, Rosie. You can come in. This is your house, too. She just wants to see her mama. Rosie's not even scared of her. Better than being with a boy. Hi, Rosie! Do you remember this was your first home? Actually, this is your second home in the barn. Then you went to another one, then you went to another one. That's your mama over there. You see your mama? You look so cute! Cause they're, they look so cute because they're all the same color. This one here, closest to the camera, looks like dad. Back one looks like mama. Keep wandering away If you made up your mind To leave this behind Then I can't force you to stay 
And that's a wrap. I'm sorry, but this is the life now. This is the life of a goat. See you guys in the morning. Behave. Don't let anybody jump out. Tomorrow morning, baby Winston will come out here and be in this area and only be able to see his mama through the fence. Don't you know that you're beautiful?